and welcome to my channel. Now, are you ready for some bling? This is another package from my wonderful Tina, who is, I'm going to get it wrong now, out of my memory, um, Sparkles with Timo on Instagram or um, Diamond Painting with Sparklers on Facebook. And these are pretty much all my missing colors. Um, it now brings me up to date on her shop. Please don't bring anything else in for a few weeks. Uh, this is a sticky pad. It holds back cover minder, or cover sheets and things like that um, that she's thrown in. All right, let's take a look little by little. All right, we've got these gorgeous little diamond stickers. They're really cool. They're kind of holographic. They've got a bit of a glimmer. That's cool. Now, this is a thanks for all you do, Pippa. Tina, now. Ooh, now she's gonna give me a sneak peek. I'm actually admin in the group, so I will leave those for just a second because I want to go over those ones because these potential sneak peeks. All right, now we've got a sticker pack. Um, I think you get the sticker pack when you get a full set of drills um, from memory. Uh, let me in, let me in. Oh my goodness. All right. Now we have these awesome little tiles that she has worked out. These are so, so blingy and they're 3D, they're lumpy, so you wouldn't want to put them on a surface where you want flat things. All right, you've got gorgeous holographic um, diamond. These are translucent, by the way. These are on the, um, the board here. If I was to take off the white background, now this one might not be the same, that's solid foil, but I think these ones, so you see where it's white, that's actually clear, so it'll go the color of your background. Um, same with these, and I think that might be a foil because it's got the black lines, but yeah, there are some stickers. I'm getting quite a collection of these now from different sellers who do the different stickers and I love them to bits but I haven't necessarily got somewhere to put them all just yet so I'll keep them safe now I don't even know where to start Ooh, and there's a pen hang on um all right these are oh gosh gosh that's huge more pens I love these pens all right let me get these aside these are the little um, drills rounds for squares there are sparklers for squares actually if you look for them there it, it says s for s that's what these are because they are 2.5 rounds they are for square kits though all right now these are all the ab's and there's round there's jellies there's a mix so they're not necessarily going to be in any specific order yet Okay, so let's see if I can sort out my round ABs. There's something like 24 colors in these. There's a colossal amount I'm catching up on. It's, yeah, quite insane. Um, I love working with Tina. She is fantastic to work with um, as a store and a friend. Um, so please, 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 if you have questions, Please ask the group if us as admins are not sure of your answer, we will refer back to Tina and we will get the advice that we need. Now that's for square, that's more regular ABs. These are sparklers with neons, holy cow. I've ordered a new Elizabeth Ward box to put these in because yeah, there's not enough space in my box. Oops, squarecrest ABs. Oh my god, square, square, square. Round, round, round. So we are finding that there are more squares becoming available. Um, if you're interested, um, as, like, why wouldn't you be, to be honest? Um, yeah, uh, for squares, that's neons. That's for squares. Neon, neon, neon. Yep, Ooh, that's for squares. 
is one of each color in these and here we go all right now and then it's frost frost is a new sparkler so the, okay we have them in families so these are all the rounds and these are the leftover squares that I hadn't got up to date. And these are sparkler neon rounds. And these are sparkler neon for squares. So they're 2.5 rounds. These are sparkler neons in AB for blueberry and neon. So they've got a coating on top. I will show you in more detail. And then we've got the frost. And then we've got also like the, um, the other colors in different sizes hold on okay so frost is almost a clear with silver back let me see if i can get, get more tops showing than bottoms these have a blue shimmer so it's like an ice blue reflection the bag is not the best um blocking that off so let's now these are lovely tough little bags um quite resilient this is like tossing around ice crystals all right now can you see how it's like a it's like ice it's just got that blue ice kind of feel to it um, and you can get the reflection when I get it turning the right direction. So you're looking for the reflection on these, not on the butts of these. Um, there we go. I don't have my lights on. My home assistant is playing games. Something tripped it the other day. So I can't get all the extra lights. So you're relying on sunlight here today, folks. All right. So... These are frost, they're 2.8 round, okay? Um, as I go through these, I'm gonna move them off to the side, so we'll we'll try and make some sense. Now, these are sparklers neon AB in blueberry, and they're a blue frosted finish, and then you've got the AB coating on top. So you've got that added blue kind of green shimmer. And these are sparkler neon AB grapes. These are both rounds. And these are purple and the purple is like on the back end of the drill so the top gives you almost a blue shimmer these have a flat top on these sparklers so the they kind of look like cat's eyes almost in the right light and um, when you've got that solid flat so you can see some of those little blue specks on the screen um let's go to the square for the, the square for um square sorry sparklers for square that's it so we got the neon ab raspberry which is a pink and it's got like a clear glass top again so you've got that almost white reflection with the pink background okay so that's the pink raspberry the neon green which is exactly what it says on the tin it's neon and it's got this frosted um reflective cat eye on the top again neon yellow which is exactly it's a neon yellow these really are true to their names um yeah, trying to catch glimmer without getting bag glare so i'm keep on moving around this is um a neon blueberry so this is a bright blue it's almost like a Facebook blue and then you get some of the shimmers and neon grape now they're all 2.5s in the range so S for S is the sparklers for squares that's the symbol you're looking for when you want 2.5s in the neons okay now the regular sparklers um, not quite the same so we've got the lime in the 2.8 we've got the yellow in the 2.8 got neon orange I've got that I think in one of the something else oh there it is okay so the square one is there I'm thinking these are just duplicates of the squares and then you've got the raspberry which is the pink so they should be what am I missing 
So we've got... So I'm missing a blue. So in duplication, we've got the neon lemon. We've got the pink. We've got the green. And there's the green. And we've got the orange. We've got the orange. So I may already have the blueberry and the grape in my stash. Which I'll show you at the end. Because these all need to get sorted and dispensed. And I might do that when I'm listening to Mrs. Coffee later. Alright, these are the ABs squares that I haven't got in my collection. So 3862. These are the DMC colours. And that's like having... Um, it's like having frosted poo. It's kind of like if you have chocolate ice cream and you've got that kind of icy finish over the top so it's like it's frosted that's not a great description but it's I think pretty accurate so it's like um, chocolate ice cream with that frost that you get when you've had it out from the freezer <laughs> a little bit this is 414 so this is one of the dark greys possibly even one of the beaver greys excuse me I'm gonna sneeze and so it's a square and it's got a silver finish on that. That's really, really cool. Um, 820, which is one of the purples, not the 550. And that's again got a blue AB finish. And you've got a few of the ABs have the backs AB'd rather than the tops. Um, there's a little bit of dust and debris in these. Don't worry about that. If you do worry about it, stick it in a sieve, give them a bit of a shake. You don't need to wash them, just give them a, a shake so that the debris falls out through the back end of the sieve. All right, there are a lot of rounds here. Okay, um, in no order because it's going to take me too long to sort these out on camera. So 775, as I said, these are true DMC colors. So these are going to be easy for you to match if you want to swap these out. So this is... 775 it's a minty green and it is a true sparkle on there to the mint green so you will be getting um the right kind of color for that okay 3770 which is a kind of peachy kind of color and again that's a true shimmer so it's it's not going to change the color for you um if you like that kind of ab style 743 which is into our mustardy yellows that's beautiful that just gives a kind of slightly ivory finish and that is a gorgeous gorgeous finish let me okay there we go. all right that's beautiful i'll try and take some pictures of these to insert as well um i think that's 224 i will have to double check that the color is uh, that I'm reading the line right and um, these have been bagged up by Tina's kids. They're absolutely awesome helping her um, And this is pink. So it's a 224 beautiful pale pink and it's just got that ivory kind of glisten silvery kind of finish on it <coughs> 414 um, Another um, in the gray so it's around and it's got that kind of bluish finish do you see there how it's slightly different from the rest of the colors so yeah bluish finish on that one um 995 bluish finish but it's slightly different from the background color a couple of strays in there um as they've been bagged up but it's kind of a purple shimmer almost purple and blue shimmers um on that and maybe even a slight touch of green all right 905 which is a muddy sludgy kind of green color with a really, really nice blue yellow AB finish. And there seems to be a bit of static in that bag. So again, um, dryer sheets. Um, uh, these actually give me some potential for um, some experimenting. I think Ashley and I are going to do some experimenting, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. 603, um, which is uh, pink. And it's giving a paler pink as your reflective AB kind of tone. All right, now 910 is a green. It's just a 
grassy rich lush green and it's giving with the AB coat a purple blue silver reflection so it's going to change it um, slightly 166 um, I'm looking at that and it's that muddy dirty kind of yellowy green and it's almost giving a pale blue like an ice blue kind of finish with the glimmers oh, come on come on come on come on there we go there's a few of them all right 951 and there is barely any change on this AB it's giving the same kind of pinky hue um, I'm trying to get the best best glimmer for you I can see it from my eyes but I'm not getting it on camera and this is the bugbear a lot of people have when they say oh I've got ABs in my picture and it's just not picking it up on the camera this is why because um, the cameras just don't pick up what the eye sees. We've got all these multi-facets. I'm just getting into stray drill. We've got these multi-facets. Um, the eye is picking up all of those shimmers. And yeah, it's just not quite happening without the light reflecting. So it is there. Trust me. Please, please trust me. 434, I believe. Um, that again, it's a... It's got a lot of debris again that one would need to be thrown into a sieve shaken um it's just the ab kind of off swirls kind of thing when they pop them out of the molds um if you can see there's some little dregs up in the corner here but there's little flecks it's kind of like dog hair you know of ab's so it's ab hair um nothing to worry about as i say it's just a bit of stuff and you can like I wouldn't blow them because I have blown the drills before and the drills weren't flying to. So it's, it, yeah, it's light enough, but blowing is going to blow everything um, off. So sieve, give it a bit of shake you know, over the sink and um, make sure the plug is in just in case any of the AVs go flying through as well. Now, um, this is giving a bit of a yellow shimmer on that one. 210, which is your lilac, and it gives a lilac shimmer. It's gorgeous, but it is true to the drill. Okay, 815 is a burgundy, and that's giving a green-blue... Holy cow! A green-blue sparkle. That is incredible. That is really, really incredible. Um, 815. All right, I think we can do the rest in one hand. Okay. 600 is a cerise kind of pink and it's giving a frosted silver pink fuchsia kind of reflection in that one 3716 is a baby pink kind of thing and it's giving a baby pink reflection uh, come on you some of these are picking up much much better than others on the camera 702 is green and it's giving a blue green reflection Okay, it's kind of picking it up like Christmas lights in a way. Um, now, 3805, this is a funky batch. There's a lot of silver on the backs of these ABs. Don't know what went on with the production of that. Um, these might take a bit of a toss, so you, I would expect the back goop to come off. Um, so you might want to take some drills. Tina, I will talk to you privately about this one. I'll keep it aside so that I can take pictures and show you. It could be just where it came out from the box or maybe that the box just needs to be looked at um, on the order. So 3805, but it's pink and it gives a blue silver kind of shimmer. I'll keep that there. Uh, 699 is a rich green, a little bit of the ABE coating. Um, floating around there as well and it's giving a blue green almost purple shimmer on that 727 is a very pale yellow and it's giving a yellow shimmer um, come on baby come on no nope, it doesn't want to catch the light there's a little bit but not much it is catching the light I'm seeing lots of little but it's much, much more subtle. 741 mus mustard yellow. Um, this is in so many diamond paintings, these 
um, Lustre Giellos. And that is giving a baby pink glow finish, AB. Okay, so it's not a glow in the dark. Don't mistake my glow word for glow in the dark. None of these are glow in the dark. Um, this is 992, which is a kind of dull jade green. And that is giving a green um, shimmer. 761, which is another baby pink, and that's giving a lovely um, pink shimmer. And 800, which is a pale blue, and it's giving a pale blue silver shimmer. All right, so they are more round ABs. Okay, now, these are sparklers for squares, and these are real sparklers. So these are the glass tops. These are 2.5s. This is ombre fuchsia. And that's kind of like the purple shimmer. They've got the flat top. They've got the kind of um, chunks around the side to make them grab the light and reflect them. And that is a purple. This is a light green sparklers for squares. These are again the coloured glass silverbacks and it's a pale green so the light kind of comes through that green and catches the light as well as the reflections bouncing around now teal this one seems to be a little bit lacking for air so you're getting a lot of backs showing but that's a kind of um aqua greeny blue in the teal well it's a teal okay these are sparkles for squares in yellow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, rich yellow in that. Uh, this is lilac. Don't know if I'd... It's kind of like a lilac bush, if you were to add that. Again, 2.5s in these. Um, the cobalt, which is the rich, rich blue. Lots of backs showing there, but you can get an idea of the rich blue. Uh, this is called fire. This is an orangey red or it's just a really deep orange These are sparklers rainbow sparklers for squares rainbow So you are getting pinks and greens and yellows through that prism Okay and then sparklers for squares, light blue. And these are a paler blue than the rich blues that you can get. So it's paler than this cobalt, if you see the two side by side. Okay, not to be mistaken with each other. They, this is much lighter. So again, these ones don't have the DMC colors. So these ones are really much up to your own imagination. Okay, um, these DMCs, you can work with the DMCs. And again, the neons, work with your own imagination. So, um, for instance, I've got um, Raven's uh, Dream Catcher, I think it's called, The Wolf, that came out from DAC, and it's got, um, it doesn't have any glow in the darks or anything else, but it's got colors that maybe would suit for some of these neon ranges. Um, and you could take a look at these. Now, um, these brushes, I, have one, and obviously these are new. Let's get that one out. All right. These brushes Tina has been promoting as um, being able to dust the side of your canvas, the, where the sticky is, and put some, um, I think, baking powder or some kind of powder to deaden the um, stick on the very edge of the um, page. These are just in various sizes. Now I received this one with the last time I did the order. Well, I ordered it and I've been petting this since then. Um, Love the feel of it. Um, they're really, really nice pens. That one's, you know, it, it's, it's not as nice as this one. Um, but yeah, lovely soft. You could use them if you were really desperate, I suppose, as makeup pens. Um, but they're the three different sizes and I'm going to bring you back down and uh, pop them in. So they're all available in the store. And then Tina is also doing these pens. Now, if you order over $50, you will get one of these pens. 
Um, so these are our hand turned. Um, I don't have anything quite so slim. The, the outside, the middle bit, the waist, or the hips are um, regular size, but the bottom is quite thin. So if you like thin pens, this could be something that you'd go for. Um, if you've got an order over $50, these are available to you. Um, the website will be up and running as soon as Jerry can get it. He is working um, like a demon to try and get these done. Um, but um, yeah, these pens are um, certainly available. They're not blocked on the current order form, but you do need to have your order over $50. And this was way over $50. This was um, a big haul. It was a, a, yeah, it was a big purchase for me. But look at all the pretty bling. Um, what else? Um, I will look at these ones myself. They're the ones that may or may not come into the catalogue and, um, Unless I get permission from Tina to show you, I'm going to hold off on that because we don't want to show you stuff that isn't going to be stocked. Now, let me get my existing collection. <sighs> All right. They are my current rounds. And these are everything else. And they are my colors. I try and make a kind of color chart. All right, so what do we got? We've got, and this is why I love these kits because you can see everything really simply at a glance. All right, so we've got our round sparklers. We've got our glow in the dark whites. We've got 310 round AB. We've got 310 square AB. These are leftovers. I just put them in together. Um, we've got um, the regular white round um, AB, we've got a peacock, and these are slightly different, so the peacocks, we've got 2.5 sparklers, and then we've got 2.5 uh, sunshine, silver, copper, these are 2.8 coppers, these are 2.8 silvers, 2.8 golds, pewter, bigger sunshines, and then we go into some of the colors. So we've got the metallic blue, the ombre fuchsia, I've gotten the 2.8, I need, I have that now in the 2.5. Um, you've got the violet, the hot pink, mermaid, rainbow. We've got the glow glass, which I will try and insert a picture around about here of them glowing. We've got um, the colored um, finishes, so we've got the aqua red, capri blue and violet in 2.5s. Uh, we've got the neons in the 2.8s, so neon down to raspberry. So what have I got? I've got... Now, is that one a blueberry? I think it's... I've got an abbreviation there. Yep, yeah, so I've got more of the blueberry. Um, the grape I don't have. The orange I do. The tangerine. Oh my god, the tangerine is just incredible. The lemon I've got. The raspberry I've got. And the lime I've got. So it's more stock in that. But I don't have them in the square size, I don't think. Alright, then I've got into the 550, which is in the green AB. Sorry, green AB. In the square 550. Um, got some of the jellies. Jellies are the translucent ones. Um, there's neon jellies and there's jellies. We've got some square jellies in 666. And then the iced jelly down the bottom here is a white. Let me move Oops, that aside. All right, now these are all my rounds for now. So I've got these in color order. Um, as you can see, I've got 162. So all of these colors that I've just received, all of these, they're all going to slot in to the mix and, um, yeah, fill the box, basically. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at with um, my box. And um, this is what I use for the storage. So there'll be a bit of chopping and changing maybe with labels, um, putting these into bigger containers, using these up, putting the small containers and way we go. I love these kits from the fact that I can kind of go, okay, what have I got? I'm not flicking through stuff. I can just go, what is my DMC color that I want to replace? 
Um, so you can see here, I've got 741, that was 743, I've got 742, 740, so now I've got, you know, the, the cluster of the 740s with that mustard yellows that we get in a lot of the kits um, from, certainly from Diamond Art Club. Um, it's a very popular rich yellow colour, so we've got these that can give that extra pops. Um, yeah. And then these um, sparklers for squares, they will probably go into this box because they're more the rhinestone-y kind of feel, if that makes any sense. Um, these are more the rhinestone-y kind of colours. Um, yeah, it's just how my brain works. So the DMC colours will be going into this kind of collection and then the extra terminology, extra things will go into this and the squares are collecting very very slowly we're getting the square stock up and running so um, as Tina finds them she'll be adding them to the store and um, yeah you're gonna have stock on hand over in the US um, and um, yeah that'll keep you busy and in an awful lot of um, bling territory now, as of today, Tina had 100 orders. She was shutting down the form for the weekend so she could catch up. Um, she is um, completely um, on track with the orders, but they are taking about a week to process because she's doing it alone. So um, please be patient with her. Um, when you put an order through on the form, if you complete, if you're not interested in anything on the first page, you still need to fill in your details on the second, on the, the beginning of the first page. So it's your email address, your contact details. Fill that in at the top. If you don't find anything on the first page, you go to the second page. That's where you've got things like the hot spotters and other accessories and pens. Um, you, and continued drills. So make sure you fill in those details to be able to migrate to the second page. Um, at the bottom of the order form, there is a little button that you hit for um, send me a copy. Click that button so that you know the order has gone through. Tina gets it, you get it. Sit down and just wait for Tina to get in touch with you and say, hey, your order is ready. And by the way, would you like this? Because she might kind of see, oh, you're ordering this kind of theme. Here's something else that might interest you. She's really good at the um, on selling of other stock and, and making sure that you're happy with your order. So particularly with the returning customers, she's getting a feel for what people are buying and she'll kind of, she's contacted me on multiple occasions she said hey we've got these and I'm going oh and I bought the butterflies or whatever it was in the last order so yeah um I will link the um other sparkler videos at the end I will probably put them into the cards which are up there um I think this is my fourth fifth sparkler delivery um as you can see I have um, a large stock of these amazing colors and um, yes now I just need to get let loose on touching something up I've had a couple of projects that I've done that I haven't wanted to touch up but there are some projects that I've opened and I'm really seeing the potential of being able to add some of these in so um, yes I will get there um, I have fairly limited diamond painting time so I will get there um, and I will show you how I go. But I will take some of the pictures to add to this. And that will be in the post-editing stuff. And um, you get to see some of the shimmers that I'm hopefully seeing on camera, you know, in a bigger image. And um, we'll fill you in with that. I, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm watching the shimmers. And it's just, it's amazing. Um, so, yes. Thank you so much, Tina. You're um you just you you've got an awesome business set up um and sourcing it for people stateside but she ships worldwide and um, we've had customers in sweden i'm in tasmania um we have other australian customers we have people in the uk figuring out to do with customs i think there's a bit of jiggery pokery with the whole customs issue in the uk and how much you put value wise on the envelope so um I think there's some um, consideration maybe being given for that, but um, yeah, they do ship worldwide, so it's just down to your customs pickup at the other end. Um, yes. All right, 
I'll leave you to it. Uh, check out the other videos. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you like. Um, let me know where you have used Tina's sparklers in projects. I wish I could see pictures. Um, if you have pictures, go to my Facebook page. Um, send me a message on my Facebook page and I might um, do a string. Or better yet, go onto Tina's page and post your images of what you have modified your pictures to be because you want to show other people. This is very much a show and tell thing and show people where you have been able to modify and how good it looks um, when you've made those modifications. But please, just use Tina's modifications. If you've used other places, don't come on the Sparklers group and show other products. It's not cool. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around on the tubes. Bye for now.